Boom. All right, what's going on to you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how Workhorse and Helion stock are popping off once again. I do also want to give you guys a bonus little sundial analysis at the end of the video. Although SNDL did end the day exactly flat, as you can see here, I do think the short term technical setup looks very promising. And because I think that, I want to talk to you guys about why. Okay, so uh, that said, I am back from a little mini four day vacay up north. Had a very fun and relaxing time with some friends up in Cali. But feels good to be back. Feels good to be back in the office. Shake off the rust a little bit. If you guys do want to follow my more personal activities, you can hit me up on IG at Royce Jacob. A little grand plug right there. But again, feels good to be back in the lab. Get back down to business again. So let's do exactly that. As always, we'll go over each topic we're going to be discussing today. And then we'll dive into each one individually in front of us trading view where we will talk technicals price action and price targets on the following names today in this order going down the watches kicking it off with workhorse keep in mind you guys this three stocks we're going to be talking about are going to see high levels of volatility many of these plays are seeing a lot of hype a lot of fomo again these are popping off right now seeing a lot of volume come back to these plays so do expect short-term volatility but many of these plays are, are very very bullish on the medium term time horizons as well so this video on the charts we will be focusing primarily on the short to medium term time horizons of course we will zoom out a little bit i'll talk to you guys about the longer term potential for these names but again focusing primarily i would say on the the, the remainder of this week and maybe the month of june as well okay so kick it off with workhorse i know all of you guys are looking at this chart in front of us you know where this is going although i do maybe see a little more short-term downside again a lot of you guys will know why this is especially if you've been part of the waves fam for a while one of our favorite patterns here but medium term i'm thinking by the end of this week over the coming week there's a lot of potential here for a very promising pattern to play out okay so kick it off with workhorse move on to another very promising ev name very fundamentally strong ev name here in hillion and then closing it out once again at the end of the video with sundial it's it's so rare that you see the gray on trading you close out the day exactly at zero but sundial is showing a very promising short-term pattern at the at the tip of resolution which is again why i really wanted to cover it on the short term not wait for it. it's a hopefully breakout like i think it will okay so workhorse hillion sundial all the good stuff check take a look at the charts in terms of news articles i got two for you guys today that i want to cover um not super heavy gonna be nice and brief as we always are with the fundamentals but this is titled meme stocks what reddit favorites amc bb workhorse clove and sundial stocks are doing today okay so of course we are only gonna be covering workhorse and sundial but it is important for those of you who may not be aware i know most of you are but the reason that these stocks are seeing a lot of hype right now is because plays specifically plays again not Helion in this in in this specific analysis but plays like workhorse and plays like sundial are in the in the laser eye the targets the the, the they're in the sight they're in sight they're in the scope of the the machine that is the reddit army okay so with plays like these um reddit army is attempting and succeeding in many cases in most cases to short squeeze out institutions with large short positions on plays like workhorse and sundial so that is why we're seeing extended volume of course when there's extended buying pressure from retail investors in uh, in a position with large amounts of short interest by institutions that's the double-edged sword so you don't only get the retail interest you don't only get buy orders from the retail investors but the the institutions with the short positions have to cover their asses and buy stock in order to cover their shorts okay so that creates a double-edged sword that's why we're seeing volume end up uh, with plays like this especially again plays that have gotten beaten down for the better part of, of 2021 at this point uh we do want to see volume and uh, it is promising in terms of short to medium term price action all right so that is the first article we're going to be looking at the second again Helion. if you guys have been following the channel for a while you would know that Helion has been on my radar for a long time i've been a big fan of Helion for a long time one of my first solo analysis videos that i made on this channel was for Helion. i really think this company has a lot of potential especially with every of course everything the way it's trending the reason i'm bullish on the majority of the green energy specifically the small cap green energy sector right now is plays like Helion. so the second article so so solid is exactly what i want to see Helion accelerates growth begins expansion of its austin texas headquarters so this is just very about as sound as fundamental news gets about as just as, as solid as a, as a little piece of news not huge not crazy but exactly what i want to see in a company that i'm not only investing in not only trading but Helion's a great example of a company that's in my stock portfolio and going to be in there for a while okay so those are again just breeze over these two and then we'll dive into the charts talk te technicals for the rest of the video but before we do 
as always, I will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today, or if you're bullish on any of the stocks trading, even, these, even if you're not bullish, if you're trading these stocks, please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, want to catch more content like this. And of course, check out the Complete Portfolio Daily Newsletter. First link down in the description. 15 bucks a month if you want a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio that I do update every single trading day during market hours. With every update, I send out an email newsletter explaining my thoughts. So again, the portfolio, if you guys have been around for the past couple of months, even just watching the YouTube, you know that times have been a little slow, but that's the game. That's the markets. Things work in cycles. And although uh, even if you have a month, a couple months of, of downtimes, that's just part of the game. The main thing, at least in my opinion, if you do want longevity in the sport is focusing on the year over year returns. And uh, right now, I'll just say it feels good to see the portfolio ripping again. We're back. We're seeing we're seeing multiple days, consecutive days uh, of green, which feels great. And uh, again, it feels good to feel like those green days are going to continue. Of course, I can't promise that, but I feel good right now. And uh, if you do, if you guys do want to know how I'm going to be navigating literally, literally every training day for the duration of however long you guys want to subscribe, complete portfolio daily newsletter. First link down below. Once again, 15 bucks a month. Appreciate it if you guys check that out. But if not, no worries at all. Let's get in to this review. Okay, so workhorse. Obviously, the pattern that I was talking about earlier uh, that I'm sure most of you guys were exactly aware of what I was talking about is this bull flag. So right now we are on the four hour candles. We can actually go to the hourly right here just to make it look a little more specific. So right here, bull flag, bull flag, textbook uh, move up, parabolic move up, followed by descending triangle. We're not seeing this exactly yet, but it would surprise me personally if we didn't see this again. Keep in mind, because this is a meme stock, I don't view it as a meme stock, but it is technically not not technically i guess but it is considered by many to be a meme stock but just again a stock that the reddit army is targeting uh that they do want to short squeeze institutions out of so this stock will act more vol volatility more sporadically than just technical uh, than standard technical patterns so technicals arguably mean a little bit less for plays like these but you also have to think about the fact that there's going to be more retail investors in here because there's more volume more traders are going to be trading it so um, again just keep in mind that maybe technicals aren't quite as relevant in plays like this but they're still very relevant especially in 2021 all you guys know that okay so again short term I am thinking that we are going to see a bull flag play out again. Parabolic move up, gapped up huge workhorse. So that huge gap up the other day, gap up, and then followed by descending triangle. So again, tomorrow, it, when it comes to short term price action, maybe like Wednesday, Thursday this week, we come down. Even Wednesday, come down to this level. Worst case scenario would be to come down here to actually play out that true base. But I think it's a lot more likely we set a, also like kind of a lower high on this up this this general uptrend. I'm sorry, a higher low on this general uptrend um, and come down to this area right here where there's a lot more support and both resistance. So I do think this will come into play around like the 1350 level. Maybe bounce off that, come up once again to retry uh, the line of resistance on the current downtrend of that descending triangle. Come down here and then re resolve itself somewhere around the 15th of June. So maybe it... it plays out a little shorter again you guys because ta is a little more because these stocks actually i should say just do move a little more sporadically um that does mean that uh maybe maybe these things resolve themselves quicker okay but from a technical perspective workhorse is looking like it's going to be printing a pretty beautiful bull flag so keep your eyes out as always you guys go into these charts for yourself especially obviously if you're trading them go into the charts for yourself draw these patterns and keep an eye on them um, just not not only for this specific trade, but to also see how plays like Workhorse Haley on like a Sundial when you're playing these high volatility, hyper volatility stocks, how they play out in terms of technicals. Okay, so again, that said, we'll go back to the four hours now. Go more to the medium term time frames. Uh, once Workhorse breaks out, my price targets for Workhorse initially are going to be get rid of that because that is at this point a distraction. Initial price target is actually going to be around $28. The reason for that is because I do think if Workhorse really starts ripping, really sees um, really sees a continuation of this rally, which I do think is possible, obviously, I do think it's likely that at some point we fill this gap right here that Workhorse saw back in late February of this year when it really just absolutely fell off a cliff, when a lot of the expectations around that contract for, their, uh, for the, the USPS contract, if you guys remember that, where they were supposed to supply USPS with a lot of their electric vehicles. I think that contract fell through. That's why you see this huge gap down, huge red candle. But gap trading, especially when things are going parabolic, when things are getting short squeezed like workhorse, um, a lot of times when you're in blue skies, like back in this area right here, there's not a whole lot of points of contact. Obviously right here might come into play. But ultimately, 
in terms of more medium to longer term, I should say like over the course of June, maybe getting into July, I do think it's very, very possible to see Workhorse close this gap, which would take us to Again, this gap exactly that is from like 28.50 to right here at about $31. Okay. So between here, as always, you guys, when you're in this kind of random territory, when you're just going parabolic, levels to look at, levels traders are looking at are just these areas right here. So again, right here around like 21.50, like 20 to $22 is going to be a level, just areas that have historically acted as support and resistance, ceilings and floors in the past. Okay. So that's workhorse let's see if this bull flag plays itself out because i do think it's a, a beautiful bull flag downside potential uh is going to be to test obviously this line of support on the current uptrend beginning right here on may 26 a lot of support, or touch line uh touch touch point right here touch point right here obviously creating this short-term line of support that would be a pretty staggering correction but it wouldn't surprise me at the same time even if it does see that I will be, uh, I will see that as potential if it does come down to do that. But I think it's a lot more likely, all things considered, that we do see this bull flag play out. So let's hope that happens because, again, money's on it. Uh, let's go over, actually, you know what? We'll go over this at the end, kind of read through this and as we close it out with Sundial because that's more relevant than Hillion. So Hillion, once again, from a fundamental perspective, a play that I personally like much more than both Workhorse and Sundial. So Workhorse, Sundial, make it clear these are more trades. Hillion is a trade because it looks very promising short term, but it's like an investment in the sense of, of long term potential and fundamental potential as a company. Okay, so Helion today, absolutely love to see this. Before we do this, you guys actually got to base it with the fundamentals, always base these arguments and fundamentals. Uh, although the chart looks good, this is legit bullish fundamentals. So again, Helion accelerates growth, begins expansion of its Austin, Texas headquarters. Additional office space and amenities will accommodate a growing team of up to 500 employees. Redesign will more than double powertrain installation capacity and triple battery development space. Helion welcomes industry veteran Rochelle Frank as vice president of operations. Frank to oversee the company's facility redesign and further advance broader manufacturing strategy towards commercialization. So Helion. For those of you who don't know, again, I did make that solo analysis. If you guys aren't familiar with what Helion is fun as a company, go watch that or go find any other video. Just go check out the website if you're not sure. But in a nutshell, Helion pretty much creates powertrains for um, for like for the next generation for the V2 of semi trucks. So they create powertrains. They can take like the shells of existing trucks of existing carrier trucks like semi trucks again and uh pretty much repurpose them to become electric so they sell the powertrain they sell the guts of the truck and uh they can convert it to uh, to an uh, again an electric vehicle in a sense okay so i love that they're making one product and they're making it very well and that's so much when it, when it comes to scaling your operations once again which is how you fundamentally grow a company um that is very important okay is, is the ability to scale your product okay all right so sorry speaking a lot you guys again it's been a few days forgive me so Helion, very very bullish here on the charts as well so breaking out of this beautiful beautiful ascending channel beginning on may 13th so this has been in a textbook ascending channel for the better part for almost a month now and we finally broke out of it today you saw we gapped out of it uh, out of it a little bit um last week but today absolutely closed the day closed the four hour which is always kind of big my, my big tail again as you can see here closed the four hour just under it and then stayed under it for a couple of days but today closed the four hour closed the daily which is the real tell in my opinion as to price direction broke out of this ascending channel following the news you're seeing a lot of volume here really love to see this volume coming back because again four plays like this volume is is crucial so Helion again breaking out of this ascending channel I do think my first price I, I mean I don't think my first price target here is going to be to test the overall line of resistance on the downtrend so this is a very very go going to act from a technical perspective as a very very strong line of resistance okay so all the way back here from November 24th of 2020 <laughs> and this touch point here on february 16th so this is a huge downtrend this is the overall long-term downtrend obviously the very peak of this very peak of helion's uh oh man this is crazy to see so helion peaked out in september of last year okay so kind of again history will will history repeat itself very likely not but will history rhyme will helion will ev place see a strong summer i think it's very very possible so helion at one point at $58 and again it's seen such a stark correction at one point it was down almost 87% to its low just in mid-May okay so there's a lot of upside potential here let's actually do a price let's actually do a quick price range here um and see what the upside so from current levels we're at about 1320 to it's high at about $58 let's just right there we're seeing we're looking at a 340 percent increase which is some very very pr uh, impressive price action of course okay will that happen I don't know 
maybe if we break through all these levels right here so if we do break this line of resistance on this current downtrend that would take us to about where this price target is if we hit it on june 11th that would take us to about 14 dollars 35 that is not very far off especially with this really really strong fundamental news okay so if hillion is able to break just conservatively 15 bucks over the coming week if hillion breaks 15 dollars in the coming week my next price target is going to be pretty staggering so again you guys these levels are going to come into play levels right here like hillion spent so much time around like the 17th like so much time around the 16 to 18 dollar region okay so again as i just said when you when things break out when you see a short-term technical breakout just look at historic levels it doesn't mean hillion's going to top out here but i do think that hillion because of this news because um especially because again, as I've been saying over the past week or so, I do think small cap EVs are really gonna see their time to shine, considering they've all seen very, very stark corrections, like staggering corrections over the past few months. Um, I do think a lot of these can really see a significant comeback, okay? So first price target is going to be around 27.50. Just these levels right here, you see this area act as a real ceiling. So I would not be surprised at all to see Helion come up to 27.50. Maybe see a little correction there. Um, come up, maybe reach this initial high after it IPO'd in June of uh, 2020. Not IPO'd, I guess, but really saw its pop off following the IPO. So, or actually, Helion, Helion SPAC. So remember, that's important. That Helion definitely SPAC from Tortoise Acquisition or SHLL. That's actually what the first analysis was on. But this uh i think and then i think it became hillion over here or something but regardless best case scenario long term for hillion is going to be uh, a potential 340 percent move up and again because they're scaling operations because they're actually doing things if the enough people can get behind this as we're seeing right now hillion's market cap is what 2.3 billion dollars so still a tiny company in the grand scheme of things in the ev ecosystem that is a small company especially considering how crazy valuations are right now um i do think hillion is perfectly poised for short medium and long-term growth all right so of course you guys i will keep you guys posted on this but short term really really keep an eye on this level right here if we can break 15 dollars over the coming week that's very very bullish okay so close it out with snd let's quickly read over this uh again just catch you guys up with this every everything below this i do have some of these highlighted like workhorse and sundial of course but it's really not that really not that important so me investors are starting off the week strong with some major movement for some of reddit's favorite stocks investors in meme stocks have been busy lately with the last week seeing quite a rally from reddit traders Reddit's favorite stock originally got going earlier this year when traders picked up gamestop as a short squeeze and sent its price soaring since then retail traders have been expanding out to other stocks the positive movement appears to be continuing into the week and we're taking a look at some of the biggest of biggest movers down below again not really necessary there a big thing in that article was volume though which i've been talking about which is why i don't feel at this point is really necessary to talk about but again plays like sundial you're seeing volume here for the bet like for this the entirety of since we popped off back in early february the past few months have been completely dry again you're seeing all of these things just completely burn out sundial i like to keep these old <laughs> these old trend lines here just to remind us of how crazy things got when we were initially covering sundial not initially but like just the last time we covered sundial on this channel which was back in february when it's really really ripping when that initial gamestop frenzy happened back in february and uh again sundial got up to almost four dollars which is absolutely insane did not spend much time up there but did peak out at about four dollars which of course is just under 4x from current levels do i think we'll see that again uh i i don't think so because I do think that these Reddit traders are moving uh, moving more quickly from one stock to the other, especially considering the institutions are understanding how to catch on more and more. So always remember, you guys, that's another thing that I want to mention. When it, when and if you choose to play stocks like Sundial and Workhorse, AMC, especially AMC, uh, GME, um, some of the other ones, let me know down below what your favorite meme stock or Reddit stock is if you guys are part of that group. Again, I spent a lot of time kind of roasting this side of the market, but... This is the reality and if i've learned one thing in 2021 it's not to discount the power of numbers the power of the swarm that is the reddit army once again okay so just talk some short-term price action right here let's go to the hourlies i'm sure just looking at this you guys again i try i trust the waves down i trust the ogs to know exactly what i'm looking at here when i'm looking at this chart without it drawn itself so sndl uh, pretty much from the last time we covered this which was i think the last video i made before i went on vacation uh sndl did look good it did rip up i did expect it to do exactly what it did and uh and pretty much just set a higher low on the current uptrend and re uh revert to the mean which is the initial high of the short-term rally which i would consider to be right here this is a technical sh uh, first short-term high but this is in terms of a short-term correction where i thought we'd be but let's take a look at this beautiful beautiful 
Bula flag that I'm going to draw right now. So, boom, parabolic move up, followed by this correction. And SNDL did, you can just count it right there. So that's even a conservative drawing point. They get a nice solid, solid top of that four hour candle right there. Sorry, top of that hourly candle right there. So I do think it's very, very likely that SNDL comes down. And then I'm actually going to go like right. I think I right. I mean, this, this looks beautiful to me right here. Okay. So SNDL, sorry, let's get rid of that guy. So SNDL again, sure, we'll just, we'll just use this line right here because that's the absolute base point. Actually move it up just because that's where it actually based off of kind of similar to workhorse, like not using this, this very, very low, low, but just kind of averaging out those lows and finding where you think looks the most averaged. That's kind of, that's how I like think about it in my head when, uh, for like workhorse, like we just looked at, like I didn't use the absolute low to, to gauge the bottom of that descending triangle. But I did kind of average, just at, like average all the bars right here and just draw a line that looks right to you. And over, over time, as you look at more charts and just see how bull flags play out over time, that will become a little more, um, a little more second nature, uh, a little more instinctive to you. Okay. So SNDL literally in like the last hour or two of the markets did break out of this beautiful short term bull flag. And I do think that we're going to see some some pretty beautiful upside here. So short term price target for Sundial. Again, I think after hours, it's up today as well. Short term price target for Sundial is going to be about a dollar and sixty five cents. The reason for that is because this is just an area that is historically acted as a as a previous ceiling for Sundial. So again, you guys, when you're seeing breakouts like this, when you see when you see crazy moves, when you see volume, especially on small cap small cap plays like Sundial, this is exactly what I want to look for. Okay, so uh, again, previous ceiling, you could even that's why I have this level. Uh, that's like this these two levels right here. I do think that this is going to be my general price target. So again, in terms of like how I would take profits, uh, I would with my current uh sundial position i would start taking profits around 164 maybe again like 20 percent profits around 164 and as we move up around this area start slowly start taking more profits and uh, again because i do think sundial has a lot of potential i will just say let's go back to the four hour because we're going to zoom out a lot here to close it out i do think sundial could definitely reach this level right here so this is a very strong trend line in my eyes again touch point here touch point here kind of gauge these two tops right here like this this high prior to this really parabolic rally and then the bounce from the high of that rally as we started to correct so i do think that is very possible for this trend line to, co to come into play um of course with the trend line this steep it's so dependent and so variable in terms of price target as to how uh as to, as to of course what the price target will be dependent on when this trend line is struck so just say july 1st we strike this trend line that'll take us to do two dollars and 75 cents which of course is over 2x from here very very exciting especially if you have calls in place but me personally if we do really start to see uh, a lot more volume, see a parabolic rise in Sundial, I'm going to be looking at the $2.75 region as kind of my ultimate resolution for SNDL. Okay, so we will call it there, you guys. Uh, this one definitely felt rusty, so apologize me for the stutters in here for just kind of being a little off. But we'll get back in the zone. It's crazy how, like, once you go from making a video kind of every day just and then just kind of completely breaking trend. Again, I think it's very healthy. I think it's very good to get away, especially if things are popping, you guys. Like, my flight, every single flight from Hawaii to San Diego, and then I had like a layover in LAX and a layover, layover in uh, SFO in San Fran. Each flight I took was completely maxed. They announced at the beginning of each flight is like, these are maxed out. So long Boeing, long Delta, not really trading them right now, but it's crazy to see travel picking up. I hope you guys are traveling. If you guys are still watching, if you guys are real ones still watching down below, please let me know where you're traveling to. If you guys got summer plans and uh, again, hit up, hit up the discord. If, uh, if you guys are still here, uh, I usually give the YouTube, uh, the, the YouTube family, YouTube 15 for 15 bucks off, but you could use code family 25. If you do want to join the discord talk story for $25 off. If you guys want to check out the discord, that link's also down below as well. So, um, again, let me know down below in the comments as well. Just if you want, if you want to talk some shop, let me know where you're going for the summer. Let me know if you have any exciting travel plans. And, um, again, it's good to get away. But then forgive me to be rusty. So we will be back soon talking more of these exciting plays, talking more EVs as we go into the week. And the cool thing about the Discord, I'm, I'm, those guys have some good plays. And there's some plays that we covered uh, today as I jumped in general chat in the Discord that uh, I'm very excited to look into and potentially make some analyses on. So I will catch you guys tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Until then, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.